I think it's useful at this point to see how the double angle formulas can be used. And although uh, I will be coming back to looking at the more complicated integration problems that you can meet later on in this playlist, um, I thought I'd show you the integral of sine squared now so you can see how, you know, why we use these double angle formulas. So, you know, we don't just bring these out of the blue. Um, so if I were to, was wanting to integrate sine squared dx, now using the methods that we currently have, uh, we've got either integration by substitution or integration by parts. You could use integration by parts with sine x times sine x, but what's going to happen is you're going to go around in circles. And it's a lot easier to use a double angle formula. Okay, and this is really the way to do it. So look at the double angle formulas that we have, and what you want to do is you want to look for the sine squared. Now, sine squared appears here and here. Okay, now this one I wouldn't use. Okay, really, the most useful ones for cos 2x are these two here. This one kind of gets you to those two but it's these two that are the most useful. So it's this one that I'm going to use here. Cos 2x, so uh, where should I write it? Cos 2x is 1 minus 2 sine squared. So I want to use this identity. So I'm going to rearrange it. So I'm going to add 2 sine squared to both sides and take cos 2x from both sides. You can then divide both sides by 2 and we get 1 half times 1 minus cos 2x. So we can now replace the sine squared in the integral with 1 half 1 minus cos 2x. So what I'll do is I will um, I'll leave the half inside. Uh, let's multiply through. So we're going to have one half. Oh, sorry. One half times one and one half times cos 2x. So minus a half cos 2x. Let's integrate. So one half integrates to a half x. And minus a half cos 2x integrates to minus a quarter sine 2x. And we've got the constant of integration plus c. So, as you can see, rearranging the double angle formula and making a substitution here simplifies this problem a great deal without having to use integration by parts. So this is the process that I would need to go through. And as I said, we'll look at some of these in more detail later on in the course, but from at this point, it's useful to see how these things are going to be used.